it's me, and today's video is another Juicy Darman skit about a scumbag car salesman who humiliates a poor man. Say less, let's watch. Man, that baby just showed up. That right there, that's the new Rolls Royce 2020 Don. You know what the commission is on that? 10 grand. <laughs> yeah. Think imagine selling a car and getting $10,000. Do you know what I could do with 10 grand? A lot. Well, I'm sure that whoever buys this car is gonna be really, really happy. Okay, yeah, but more importantly, I'm gonna be really happy when I make that $10,000 commission. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I bet. If I sold that car, they'd make me the sales manager here. Alrighty, my dude is so confident. Other salesman right here. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna be manager. You can just take a seat. Excuse me. Is this the new Rolls Royce? That's a $350,000 car, sir. It's really expensive. I don't know if you can afford it. Well, is there any way I can see the inside? Look, man, I really don't want to be rude today. I just don't want to waste my time, yes, okay? Yes, you can see the inside, sir. Let me grab the keys for you. Look at all the customers here. But I'm not trying to waste my time. I'd much rather stand here and stare at the peeling paint on the wall than help you. That guy's clearly going to waste your time, okay? Look at him. Look, things aren't always what they seem. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. She's literally trying to do her job. Okay, you could just sit here, pluck your eyebrows or something, while I go show this man the car. It's people like this that make people feel so unwelcome when they go shopping. Like, you walk into a car dealer, you look like you can't afford it. Don't even look at it. Don't even breathe around it. You're wasting my time. <clears throat> Sir, can you please not touch the car? I want to make sure it's clean for when somebody who can actually afford it comes in to buy it, you know? You get it, right? I cannot believe this dude. Sometimes I just gotta be like, they're acting, it's not real. Is that the new Rolls Royce? Yes. Yes it is. Hello. I'm Jake. Paul, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you think here, Paul? She's perfect. Midnight blue, all the options, exactly what I've been looking for. I can grab the keys if you'd like and we can take it for a spin. Uh, no, 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 no. I've seen what I need to see. I'll take it. Let's sign the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Just like that. Because the dude is wearing a suit and has a freshly shaven head. He was just like... Also, people are really out here buying a $350,000 car without even looking inside? You're not gonna take it for a drive? Pretty sus if you ask me. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, actually, you're late. This is my friend Paul and he just offered to buy the car. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh. Yes. Does that mean it's sold already? Well, no, not yet, but it's about to be. Let's go sign the paperwork in my office. That one over there on the corner. Yeah. A little piece of advice. Don't waste your time with poor looking people. Maybe you'll sell a car. And you should never judge a book by its cover. Oh, you're giving me advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Fun fact, most rich people don't actually dress like they're rich. But that's none of my business. I feel so bad for her. Oh, she's such a nice person. I am so sorry about that. Uh, did you have any specific questions about the car? Great. And uh, I just have to send this off and wait for approval from the bank and then we're good to go. Great. I can't wait to get behind the wheel, man. Oh yeah, man. You're gonna look real good in that thing. Especially because you got the suit, right? Then you got the watch. Now you got the expensive car to bring it all together. Everybody's gonna know that you're a multimillionaire, my friend. Yes! That's exactly the look I'm going for. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What's the point of looking like a multimillionaire? Big difference between looking like a multimillionaire and actually being one. Hmm. So we just gonna sit here and pretend any dude with a nice suit is a multimillionaire. I could go to a fancy coffee shop right now and be like, hey, any Baristas trying to buy a 350k car? No? Well, it's a V12 engine, 6.75 liter with 563 horsepower. Wow, that's very impressive. You know you're very knowledgeable. Well, I've done my homework. Actually, there's a sales manager position that just opened and I'm really hoping they consider me for it. You know, I'm wondering, how come you're wasting your time on a poor looking person like me. You must think that I can't afford to buy this car. Well, I'm all about helping people. Uh, and besides, 
I've learned to never judge a book by its cover. Wow, that's very interesting. We need more people like her in the world who actually want to help and don't just care about the commission. Oh, that can't be right. Is something wrong? Uh, it's saying that your credit wasn't approved. Don't worry, let me try again. This happens sometimes. <laughs> Come on, man. I need that car. I need people to think that I'm rich. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> it said your credit's still not approved, but no worries. We'll do cash. 350000 $350,000? I don't even make that much in 10 years. Then what are you doing trying to buy a 350k car when you're making 35k a year? Like, who are you trying to impress? You could literally buy a house with that money. And my dude is like, no, I want to look cool when I go to the Panera Bread. Now, sir, you look like a joke. What do you mean? <laughs> that right there is a designer suit. I know you can afford this car. Don't be fooled by the suit. I'm actually broke. <laughs> but hey, can I still test drive the car? I'm sorry, it's hilarious. So funny to me that this dude actually went in. So confident, like, yeah, I'm gonna get the sale. This dude is buying the car. He got a nice suit. He buying the car. He gave me my $10,000. I'm gonna be sales manager. And then the other dude is like, yes, I'm broke trying to buy a $350 car. Just cross my fingers and hope my credit goes through. <laughs> Look at all this foolishness. Oh, how did it go? Do you make the sale? No. Oh. No, I didn't. That guy didn't have any money. Womp, womp, womp. The walk of shame. <laughs> I'll buy it. Please. Start the paperwork. Uh, that's great. Wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll get right on it. Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I don't mean to rain on your guys' parade, but there's no way that this guy <laughs> is getting approved for a loan. I mean, look at the way he's dressed. Loan? <clears throat> Who said anything about a loan? I'm paying cash. Dang! My dude pulled up with a satchel of money. Like, yeah, I can prepare. How dare you disrespect this man and assume he's trying to get a loan? I am genuinely confused. Where did you get all that money? I'm a multimillionaire. And I dress like this because I want people to help me for me and not for my money. You see, this is how you find a good sales associate. Like, never go to car dealerships dressed all nice and see who will actually help you. Mmm, I do feel I'm real stupid right now. By the way, young lady, I know the boss here, and I'm gonna make sure that he knows that I think you would make a fantastic manager. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is gonna change my life. And I'm also gonna make sure that he knows about you as well. Here's a piece of advice. Next time, don't judge a book by its cover. And maybe you'll sell a car. Hmm? Oh, little baby man, you look like you're gonna cry. Boo hoo. No $10,000 and no manager. And probably gonna lose his job. So, friends, what did we learn here today? Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't try to buy a 350k car when you broke. <laughs> money somebody has by how they're dressed all these influencers out here with a twenty thousand dollar gucci outfit and behind on their taxes but that's none of my business stuff like this has happened to me so many times where i would go into an expensive store or a car dealership and they wouldn't help me they'd be like oh it's a child there's no way you're gonna be buying anything and then this one car salesman says that somebody came in with like a ripped t-shirt and sweatpants and was like i'll buy a 250k car cash and so he was like yeah i'm gonna never judge anybody again but anyway that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will link our man's channel in the description below he has so many amazing videos check them out we're working on a collab so look forward to that too and if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications click click and subscribe to the wolf pack oh I love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys